Welcome, this is the general energy vibration for the month of June 2017 and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please like, share these videos. Again, this is a wonderful time that we're on a journey. This is the year of the magician, the year that all your wishes and dreams can come true if you work hard enough on them. I want to say to each and every one, please remember to listen to your sun, moon and rising sign. Always listen to the general readings and your sun and moon rising sign for a month because there's always new energy vibration that is coming out that is not in this month. As again, as you guys always know, I change up my energy vibration for reading the format, just the format, the energies stay the same. And this month is a wonderful month because I have something new coming in. I'm changing it up with the astrolog astrological aspect of it and also um, the energies of what is all around. Okay, the month of June is going to be the energy vibration of the chariot. The chariot is wonderful. The chariot is going to be changes in all direction for each and every person. The energy of the chariot is a fire sign. It's going to affect each and every uh, zodiac sign. And with this, um, the chariot is going to bring a lot of success for a lot of people. It depends on what is vibrating in your energy vibration at this time. So some people will have success. Some people will have changes. Some people will be moving away from certain things. But a chariot brings changes. It is always an energy of changes. If you're working with the energies of the angels, it's always the energy of Archangel uh, Metaron. And you can call up an Archangel Metaron in the month of June and ask him to place the orange coat of protection around you and ask him to touch open and activate all of your 12 chakras. So you can just say, um, I'm calling up an Archangel Metaron to place the orange coat of protection around me and please um, place uh, touch open and activate all of my 12 chakras for the people who have seven chakras then your 12 chakras will be start to open up okay so if you have seven chakras some people were born with 12 chakras some people were born with seven chakras okay um the energy vibration for the chakra this this month is going to be um the crown chakra which is a meter above your head, it's going to be the crown chakra because that's where Archangel work with certain people in certain aspects and certain situations. Okay, so this is just going to be one of the most beautiful months that is going to happen and we are here to celebrate it with you. Okay, I need to put my glasses on because it's like, it's a little bit dark. Okay, all right, the month of... Uh, um, of, of, of June has the energy vibration of certain aspect okay the elements in the month is wonderful what is so wonderful about June what I love personally is that the scales are balanced justice is coming in justice is here um, the tower and the justice in the middle and then we have uh, the energy of um, the um, the hermit and this is good the energy of the hermit is here so you have the tower justice and the hermit outside which is closing off your reading you have the empress which is the motherly the, uh, the energy vibration of nurturing and the motherly figure but yet still at the other end we have the wheel of fortune so this is just going to be wonderful and this is what i'm saying to people is that uh, this month is going to affect each and every person and um we are going to open up to whatever energy is happening in the first week what is it that we have in the first week because the month of June is actually a very long month okay it ends with May and begin with June in the first week we have the energy I heard energy vibration element and this is a green color and this we have and we use the energy vibration of the Empress the Empress is the goddess of the femininity and she is the goddess of love okay she also is a goddess of feminine and um, fertility nurturing and also 
for your earthly needs so uh, the first week for the earth people is going to be a wonderful vibrant week with um, the chariot which is wonderful new things coming in your life victory success triumphant but yes still success over adversity this is going to happen in the first week for the earth people so for the earth people be aware of a situation that in the first week this is going to be a vibrant wonderful energy vibration for the month of June okay and um, um, when the chariot comes with the Empress that means you, this is victorious over certain aspect of yourself but yet the victorious uh, so that your materialistic aspect is going to start coming in and there is going to come a balance okay the, the zodiac energy that we will be working with because I am using I'm I'm, st I'm going to start to, to do the astrological sense of uh, these numerology energy vibration readings uh, and we have the energy of Sagittarius said the energy of Sagittarius so this is going to be good especially for all the urge people for the Capricorns the Virgo Capricorns Virgo and um, Taurus people this is going to be wonderful because the Sagittarians energy um, the zodiac energy of the Sagittarians come in so you'll be working with um, some people will be working with some Sagittarius people but yet still for the Capricorn this is a lucky sign coming in working with the Sagittarians especially for the Capricorns who were born um, on the first um, the, 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 the first couple of days uh, the first five days this is going to be wonderful for you this is going to bring you a lot of success victory and wonderful um, situations it's going to come in your life in the first week of June so for the astrological sense of this reading you are going to find out that Sagittarius will be working with you earth sign people to bring in success um, because uh, the energy of uh, um, the chariot is here and also the energy of the Empress uh, with Sagittarius this is going to be a wonderful wonderful month okay this is going to be an extremely wonderful month because what is happening is going to be that the energy of Sagittarius is going to help you a Sagittarius is yet still a fire energy it works with a fire but for the earth sign people this is a wonderful thing because this is the half woman the half it's like the energy vibration of the the unicorn and the unicorns help the hurt people to bring balance in their lives so you can always call upon the unicorns and ask the unicorns to place you in the angel in their angelical light and um, to touch open and remain remove the veil of illusions from you so the unicorn is going to help you to remove that veil of illusions this is wonderful I have been blessed with these two new packs of cards and I'm working with the vortex I've always liked um, Esther she works with the energy vibration of the vortex and I have a uh, um, be blessed to get her cards and this card for the first week it says our source is one of love not um, um, condemnation okay so this is it and I'm going to read you the message it says when you pay attention to the way you feel and, uh, and deliberate that uh, choosing more thoughts that feel good while you think them you will begin to recognize the natural of your um, benevity non-physical um, um, uh, desire in a measure of um, in the sense that you are feeling will um, bring out the energy vibration because the subject of your thoughts is wrong so if the subject of your thoughts is wrong you are going to bring out that energy vibration to affect you but to utilize because you are um, 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 you are embracing a sort of a energy vibration that pulls in what you need and it serves you to be better your source is one of love and not one of condemnation okay so your source your source and that's what it says how a source is one of love and not of condemnation so be aware of this and hold this energy vibration in this week you earth sign people that um, the source of 
our love is not of a condemnation okay so I've been stressing on the earth sign um, people but this also coincide with all the signs that uh, it's going to be a balanced nurturing week uh, where the nurturing of the energy of the mother is going to come out and Venus of love and with this energy vibration what is going to happen is that a lot of changes are going to come in in your materialistic aspect of yourself but yet still you are going to feel so energized so full of energy that you are not going to be um, th there's no effect that is going to affect you in this month okay as we move on to the second week we have the energy vibration of the tower which is a fire energy so we have for the month energy the chariot and the the week energy we have the tower and the tower energy is a wonderful wonderful fantastic energies and why is the tower energy such a beautiful energy is because it is cleansing it is bringing in cleansing for um, everyone because it is the tower so it affects uh, everyone all the zodiac signs all the zodiac energy but what this tower is doing it's bringing in cleansing this is a tower that is breaking off that which you no longer need and is bringing in wonderful um, energy vibration that is going to help you to deal with certain aspect in your life and certain situation to clear the energy around you so that positive and good energy can come in the zodiac energy that we're working with is the energy of the Taurus the bull so there is a, going to be a lot of connection with um, the Taurus people so all you zodiac signs um, be aware that in the second week um, the energy of Taurus people are going to be around you which is another earth sign energy so the hurt there is so many um, um, energy vibration of the hurt bringing in certain aspect and certain vibration energies that is going to help you to elevate yourself because whenever the tower comes in with the zodiac energy of the Taurus it is saying to you you know be aware of certain aspect in your life that things needs to be cleansed so that you can move out of that energy vibration to something much better I am really loving this for you guys because this is going to be whenever the Taurus the energy of the Taurus comes in it is always a good energy vibration because what the Taurus does is that it gives you inner power um, to focus on um, what is is that is very important for you and the Taurus um, 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 aspect of your life that has um, a connection with um, the, the, the planetary aspects that is going to help you to change your whole energy vibration and you know the Taurus is uh, the energy vibration of the zodiac energies of the herd sign but yet still the Taurus has the vibration of the bull in a strength and it rules by Venus and here we are in the first the first week we had the energy vibration of Venus which is uh, um, the Empress which is the energy vibration and in this week you are associated um, with the motto of I have I have so in this week the motto is I have so whatsoever is going on around you realize that the energy vibration for you in this week is going to have the motto that I have so always think that is your motto for the second week as we look at the energy um, for um, um, the vortex we have the law of attraction assembles all cooperation and relationship it's a number three card and this is wonderful I love the energy of number three whenever it comes up and it says so there is the vortex of becoming a word that contain all of the requests all of the amendments respiration each and every detail of each and every asking that has been implemented from you and the law of attraction is responding to that the vortex is the linear drawing in all things necessary for the completion of every aspect um, that it contains all co-creation correspondency are being summoned and all 
are coming for the completion of this creation, for the answering of these questions, and for the solution of these problems. And this is just a wonderful energy vibration that is going to come in for you. And you are going to realize how beautiful the second week is going to be with the energy vibration of the tower. Because most people are not aware how beautiful this tower is. Because the energy of the tower is always a wonderful energy that is going to bring you positive positive energy vibration as i look at your first week you have three and you have um five so it's eight the number eight energy is going to be so positive in the first week okay uh, so in the first week you have um the number eight energy as we look at the second week the energy you have is 61 plus 6 is 7 10 the wheel of fortune new beginning so some people will have luck coming in in the second week especially the fire element people will have a lot of luck coming in in the second week and the rest of the um, zodiac signs are going to have uh, a sense of uh, um um, new beginnings okay so this is going to be extremely wonderful okay as we get to the middle of the month the third week of the middle of the month we have the energy vibration of justice which is so um, um, vibrant this is a, a wonderful energy for you guys with having the energy vibration of justice coming in this week this is going to be the most main focus of this month the middle week and that will be the week of um let's see where this middle week comes up it's going to be the middle week is going to be um the, the 12 until the 18 so for the energy vibration for the 12 until the 18 we have the energy of justice and the energy of justice is such a vibrant energy vibration of justice this is going to bring out wonderful aspect of yourself and um, the energy of justice is for the um, people who are having a legal situation and especially for the air people but not for the air people but also for the, the the scorpions for the scorpions who are having um a legal situation in the third week you are going to be a success you're going to succeed over this legal situation which is coming in because the energy the astrological energy that will be working in this week is going to be the energy of uh, um, justice coming in which is the air sign bringing balance to Ertilic endeavor that was out of balance and it's going to affect the scorpion people so if your sun moon or rising sign is scorpio in the third week um, and you have a legal situation or a situation that was unjust to you it is going to be balanced out i am really loving this for the energy of the scorpion um let's see what your motto is going to be in um, this third week because it's going to be an actually a vibrant energy that is going to come in for yeah the, this is a new uh, set that I'm working with so your motto is going to be I desire and uh, um, I desire and for you know I'm, I'm gonna hold the card up because it's the astrological card I desire and what is happening is that passion mystery and drama make scorpion um, both fantasizing and challenging deeply um, sensitive the scorpions can lash out in self um, protection in trades or withdrawing in um, sensitive areas and depressed scorpions in intensively natural also shows in loyalty and love that can go overboard um, in plenty obsession if not keeping in check okay so be aware if you have a sun moon and rising sign of the scorpion in um, the month of June in the first for in this third week be aware of not to use that obsession to go overboard 
as I said, we're working with a vortex, and the vortex is that the universe law of attraction is managing my expansive. The universe law of attraction is managing my expansion. And it says the law of attraction in the universe manage all ver um, vibration, which expands to everything that uh, uh, co uh, coincides through the universe. And so at the same time that the law of attraction is responding to the vibrational energies contained of uh, um, your physical um, thought, it is also responding to the vertic the, the vibrational connection of your inner beam so this is just so wonderful because what he's saying is that the law of attraction in the universe manage all of the vibrational energies which expands to everything that is existed through this whole universe and so at the same time the law of attraction is responding to the, the vibrational content of your physical thoughts it is also responding to the vibrational connect contents of your inner beam so whatever uh, your inner beam is vibrating that is what is vibrating out in the universe and that is where the universe picks up uh, certain aspects and certain energies so for the third week the number that you're carrying in the third week uh, eight and eight is double eights the energy and number 88 so this is good this is good people um, this card deck has the energy vibration of justice using the number eight energy you can see it down here it's a little bit light you can see it down here and um, the vertex is also the number eight so you have 88 in this third week and it's going to be wonderful so 88 number 88 for the air people it's it's going to um, have an effect on you for the air people who has uh, um, the Sun moon and rising sign which is of a Scorpio um, expect wonderful um, beautiful um, energy vibration coming in and success with money okay money the number eight energy carries the energy vibration of money as we go forward to the fourth week we have the energy vibration of the Emperor the fourth week is going to be an extreme spiritual week it's a water week it's going to be an emotional week and uh, with this water energy of the um, the, uh, um, the, uh, the the hermit coming in what he's doing is that he's actually bringing in certain aspect that needs to be healed and he's letting um, people be aware that the healing needs to begin that you need to heal within so that you can find inner wisdom inner peace and true connection to the source of all things so he is here and whenever he ends up in a reading because I wasn't aware that he was going to come up in this month there is a message that he wants to give out and bring out to you which you should really um, um, connect to the energy of the uh, the um, uh, hermit with the energy the the zodiac energy of Capricorn which Capricorn it is uh, the half fish half goat and I so vibrate with this um, expression of the Capricorns because the Capricorns has a lot of emotional aspect of themselves but yet still they are the mountain goats they climb they stand they watch they plan and this is very good so they're soft but yet still they're tough and this is a, a very good depiction of the Capricorn element whenever the zodiac energy of the Capricorn element comes up with the energy vibration of um, the, um, the the hermit what it is saying to you is that there needs to be a spiritual um, 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 connection um, with your spirit guides and um, through that you will find inner wisdom in the fourth week okay the fourth week is like a resting week each week have a certain energy vibration and it's a resting week but yet still a week where you are going to um, deal with certain emotional aspect of yourself and find the energy vibration of balance so, 
again it is the energy of earth and water in the sec in the fourth week earth and water in the fourth week and uh, capricorn is ruled or the planet of saturn so saturn is going to come this is when um Capricorn and the hermits working is Saturn is coming and the Saturn Saturnus of Saturn is here and the motto is I control and we need to learn to release this control so this is why the hermit comes up to help us to learn to release this control and it says the constant the constellation of Capricorn shows a create and create with a greatest body and a fish tail okay the hurt particular um, of the goat may be um, driven by a deeper emotional needs for emotion and security you just as the sea goat is driven through a month of water towards the shore ruled and traditional kept serious Capricorns is feeling safe okay so this is extremely wonderful and you know sometimes we have these negative energies coming at us and just call upon the angels and the guide to bring in release you and seal you off of these negative thoughts that are coming at you because these negative thoughts can break your own energy vibration and let you not focus and bring you in a sense of uh, um a lower energy vibration so you need to be aware of this and this one says um, from the vortex that my thoughts join a powerful um, 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 a powerful uh, slinking of, um, vortex of uh, attraction and this is ex extremely extremely good in the same way that the law of attraction is responding to the thoughts, words, and action that you are offering. Um, being that your physical reality, the law of attraction is always responding powerful to your vibrational energy. When the law of attraction, the universe manage all of the vibration responding to this clarity of vibration offered by your um, corresponding in a beam the um, result is a powerful nearly vibrational effect and this is going to be extremely wonderful so remember again whatever your inner beam is vibrating out in the universe this is what is happening is that your thoughts join a powerful um, um, and, and swifting of vortex of attracting certain things so this is what is going to happen so be aware this is why I'm working with this because this year is as if the change of the guards is coming in so this sort of energy will be affecting you as we go to the last and for a week we have another fire energy and we have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune with the chariot is just one of the most two beautiful energy vibration that you could ever expect in a month so this month of june is going to be a magical month for a lot of people a lot of success a lot of um, um luck and abundance in money is going to come in for a lot of people this sort of an energy vibration is attracting so many wonderful energies and with a wheel of fortune um, for some people it's going to be a new beginning for some people it's just going to be wonderful things coming in which you weren't expecting and this is going to be extremely positive in all different forms I need to go back and look at the number of the week we have seven and nine and seven and nine is 16 one and six is seven so some people will have the energy vibration of uh, um, the chariot but yet still some people in the fourth week will have the energy vibration of the tower so be aware of what aspect is going to affect you in the fourth week so some people will have the energy vibration of the tower but yet still some people will have the energy vibration of the chariot in the fourth week as yeah we go forward as I've said the fifth week I have the wheel of fortune and with the wheel of fortune we are going to work with the planetary aspect of Uranus Uranus so 
we have the wheel of fortune and uranus so this is bringing um um real you know um happiness abundancy success money money is is as if the energy vibration of the flow of money is going to come in because when uranus is here um, the planet of Uranus and um, the planetary aspect of Uranus is working on an eye energy vibration and this is going to be extremely good because Uranus comes in to um, Uranus with um, you know the, the wheel of fortune is such an and an, an very high focus aspect and when it's working um, in Aries and um, it's 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 the implementation action has both risk and rewards um, so some people will have the vibration of energies of risk and reward taking action and it's risk and rewards but yet still um, when you look further at a certain um, aspect that it, it works uh, with certain energy vibration it's going to be um, an, an, an explosion of different points of view for um, some fire people the Sagittarians and that sort of a thing so you know each and everyone is going to be affected um, especially for the fire sign for the Sagittarius it's going to be an exploring and different points of view that is going to come up for for you Sagittarians as we look at energy for the Capricorns in the five week with um, um, Uranus you are going to have um, accept that some rules should be broken you know um, some Capricorns because Capricorns do not like breaking rules but with Uranus working with the Capricorns in the fifth week of June you know you're going to accept that some rules were, should be broken so this can affect <clears throat> the Capricorn people in certain different type of aspect in certain ways this sort of a thing but be aware of what you do in um, this last week of June as we look at how Uranus is going to affect um, the 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 Aquarians, the, you're going to the Aquarians are going to have challenges challenges in their work um, world and challenges with worldview information. So the Aquarians are going to have really challenging time with the worldview. And um, as we look at how it's going to affect the Librans, it's going to be tempering the herd to charge with thoughtful plateaus. So be aware, you Librans, because I know you're always charging without not thinking, not doing. For the Scorpio, it's going to bring a passive and a passion to your inner being from in out uh, from your inner being out into the world so this is going to be extremely good for the scorpions um in um the fifth week this is this is actually very 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 interesting for you guys for the tauruses it's going to be refusing to change and it's debt to the spirit so yeah i can understand you tauruses because this is how you work with a, a Uranus and Uranus is going to come in to show you that you need to have flexibility for the Gemini you're going to be curious uh, led to a brilliant insight so the Gemini's are going to be extremely curious in the fifth week which is going to lead to a significant um, change in your life because of the curiosity that you are accompanied with um, the Gemini's the cancers there is going to be movement through um, your vortex uh, through your own beam there is going to be um, a, a, a full a volatile of changes going for the cancers a lot of changes coming in for the cancers for the Leos others run to you for inspiration 
So the Leos, you're going to realize that in the month of June, a lot of people are going to run to you for inspiration and help them. And last but least, we have the energy for the Virgos that is working with the planet of Uranus in the last week. And you are going to be on your way seeing sense um, uh, and, and seeing sense in serving humanity. So this is just extremely extremely wonderful for you Virgos because you're going to see sense how you can um, deal with the energy to work with humanity so this is going to be wonderful your vortex for the last and final week of the month it says um, my most important um, relationship is with source is with my source so and that is so so true because um, there is no relationship of greater importance to achieve than the relationship between you and your physical body. Night right here, how and the soul, Saturn, God from which you have come. If you tend um, to that relationship first and foremost, you will then and only then have uh, the the ability to focus and to proceed into the other relationship your relationship with your own body with money with your parents with children with grandchildren and your world will all fall easy into alignment with you tending to the fund the fundamental of relationship first so this is so beautiful and the number six energy is always the energy of vibration you have six and ten which is 16 um, and um, one and six is seven so you have three times seven and you have three times eight three times seven is just so fantastic for some people you are on the right part in your life you're flowing in the right flow and for some people financial abundance is going to find your way in this um, month and I want to say to each and every person out here um, you vibrate whatever you send out in the universe so remember before you're going to think a negative thoughts or think negative things you are going to see that that is what you vibrate and I want to say namaste until next month